Hello artsies! I'm Mrs. B. Welcome to Uma Arting Penmanship. In this video, I will teach you to bounce your letters in calligraphy. So if you have your supplies ready with you, let's bounce those letters. So this is example of the regular calligraphy that we have and also the bounce calligraphy. Okay, so before we move forward, we will be talking about um, just a short preview of the anatomy of calligraphy okay so this line is our baseline this is where the all of the letters are standing okay even capital letters or small letters okay so this is the lines okay next we have the x height x height is the line that is showing the height of your small letters okay that's the x height sometimes it also in x height we also do the crossbars like for example the letter t okay or start with with tall letters like the h and l Okay, so that's the X height. So that would be like a baseline of the tall letters. Okay, next one is the cap height. The cap height touches the capital letters, like the C here, and also the heights of our tall letters. The, these three lines are the basics that we actually used when we are studying handwriting or penmanship but in calligraphy we added also different lines or additional lines like this one the line above here is the ascending line so it's as in ascending line there is where we put some flourishes and we extend the tall letters like the H the L okay and we could do some flourishes here for this tutorial i just made simple calligraphy because i haven't done the flourishing mm, tutorial yet but soon we will have tutorial for flourishing next line that we have here is the descending line okay so here in the descending line if you notice just ignore this okay in this descending line you will see here it touches our letters that has tails like the G, the P, the Y, also the J, and some letters. Okay, now based in these lines, okay, so this is actually anatomy of calligraphy. Based in these lines, since we added, we have these two more lines here, that is where we're going to bounce. Okay, here is bounce of the word calligraphy. Okay, so when we do bounce, that's why it's called bounce because it goes up and down, up and down. It's like a ball bouncing up and down. So we do bouncing in calligraphy so we can add more excitement on the words. It can also be more beautiful and attractive to look at than the regular calligraphy that we have. Okay, so in bounce calligraphy, if you would notice, I didn't actually the ascending line would be here. Okay, but I wrote here the descending line. I didn't. I didn't have I didn't put here the ascending line anymore because we did not go above it or reach the ascending line. So here, if you notice the cap height, we can extend your we can extend the L a little bit here. Okay, and on the ascending line, you will see you still touches all of the letters that has tails but look at the R here and the H so here if you notice instead of 
touching the baseline it went down a little to the going to the descending line okay it can go up to the next boss or next a little line that's why I like the green paper or this notebook because first of all it has grids it will be easy for me and for you also to you to do bounce calligraphy because it has guidelines already okay I just for I just um, draw some lines here for for this tutorial okay next that I like in this notebook is that the texture of this notebook is very smooth and it doesn't this it doesn't um, ruin my brush or my brush pens okay going back to the lines okay if you notice in this bounce word of calligraphy you will notice that the a or the i or my vowels are a little bit smaller than the regular calligraphy okay so one tip that I can give you first is you can make the vowels smaller. Next is you can do one line or half of a line lower or higher. Okay, so those are the tips. Also, if you notice here, the, the letter Y is bounce in these word calligraphy the letters that are not bounce here are the letter c this second l this g is bounce also p is not bounce but for the rest of the letters it's all bounce okay so for next would be like the g I can actually write it this way that it touches up to the X height only but you can extend a little bit higher on the X height you could actually write or do the or do the G here that's fine also for look at this Y this is um lower than the regular one or you can switch it you can play with your letters it's fine there are no specific rules in bounce calligraphy as long as it doesn't mess up your letters and it looks appealing to the eyes all right but I want you to avoid that not extending the letters or the extensions too much because if it goes here if like H goes here or the R goes there it's kind of weird okay and if you go back to my previous video if you go back to my previous video about connecting letters it will also help you to do bounce calligraphy because as I because here we need to extend more of the exit lines of the letters that's important I actually talk about it in the connecting letters video if you haven't watched that video I will put the card on top for you and also on the description box so you can get to it all right, so here in the Y, you can make this higher up to here and make this one lower. It's up to you. It's, it depends on you. You can practice writing the word calligraphy, bouncing. Okay. Hello, artsies. I just want to remind you to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you would be updated to my latest uploads so let's go back to the video okay now let's go to um, the word minimum minimum is a good word to practice because it has the M's 
the U's and the N's. That is very exciting to write. So, looking here, the word minimum. This is the regular calligraphy. Okay, so it has lots of overturns, underturns, and compound curve here. So, it's really good to practice this word minimum. Okay, so I didn't write the guidelines here, but if you look into here, so this is the cap line, the X height, and the baseline. Okay, it touches the lines perfectly on the regular calligraphy, but in the balanced calligraphy, okay, I did like two samples here but you could do as many sample as many practicing and the word minimum as you want okay looking here the M here is not the this part of the M the half of the M is not bounced but it bounces here okay so it can go again it can go just a line or half of a line down or up but it should not go too far okay so here this is this part is bounce also the m oh n i mean the next of the m the u and the m here also this one is a little bounce you can make it a little bit smaller okay some letters you can make a little bit smaller like the n the m the vowels Okay, but for I, I did not make a little, a little bounce in this, but looking into the next sample here, it, the I's are bounces, or all of the vowels are bouncing. Okay, so here, extend, if you look at here, I change the bounce of the M here, so instead of this one is taller i made this shorter and make a little bit taller again you could extend a little a little bit but not too far i made the vowels smaller here bounce on the end of the letters or on the turns of the word minimum Hello Artsies, I want you to know that I created my coffee page. You can support me in the price of a cup of coffee. I'm working on the worksheets right now that can be downloaded and some can be available to sell online as well as an art journal that would be also on my coffee page. So your support is appreciated. You can go to coffee.com that is K-O-F i.com slash umaarting penmanship i will also put the link down on the description below now let's go back to the video okay so these are the samples of the words that i i wrote earlier beforehand so we can do straight tutorial all right here on the word teach if you notice that this is not good for bouncing but the vowels are and also the h so if you notice here so this is my baseline this is the x height the cap um line here okay i made the vowel smaller but i extended the tail of the a here up to the baseline you could actually go a little more just a little more to extend and connect it to the C, I bounce this H here. Okay, let look into this word funny. Okay, and the word funny F is not also good for bouncing, but the next letters are. Okay, so if you notice, I made these letters smaller but bounce on the tails. Okay, the word love is also a common word to bounce, okay, or to write in calligraphy. You can make the vowel smaller. For the V, you can also extend this a little bit lower to the descending line. Okay, hello. Alright, 
for the hello. All right, I bounce here, make this shorter on not touching on the X height. The E is smaller. This L is not bounce, but the next letters are bounce. Okay, you can make this a little lower and the tail and then maybe oh all right next is the word happy right this is bounce these is not bounce but yeah make this shorter you can make the tail a little bit longer or extend yes okay there this is the word great Okay, this one is the G is bounce on this on on this line or the, on the downstroke. The R is a bit bounce, and I made these letters or the vowels smaller. For the T, you could actually bounce on the tail, but like on the word teach. Um, I do not like it if it's bounced because it will make a little, a little weird if it's too low here and do the E next. So if your next tip for bouncing is that you think of the next of the next letter, so that would be that would be your guide if you if you would be doing bounce to if you think what will be the my next letter will be all right if i'm writing the word great okay are am i going to make um, make the r lower than lower than the baseline or you could think ahead or another thing you could do is to write the words for on an, on the page of your practice paper then you can you can practice writing those words so you can have variations of different uh, of, of different bouncing of the, that word like i did on the word minimum okay next one is friday so if you look here on the word friday f is not good for bouncing because it's a, a tall letter and yeah, if it's up to you, if you would do big here, big on this part, or bigger here, or small, or whatever, smaller in this part, whatever you prefer, it's up to you. You are the calligrapher, you are an artist, you can do any font that you like. You can do your own style. Okay, so these, mm, these calligraphy that I did, it's my own style. I did not copy any font. I just made my own style. I look into different fonts online and then I did my own. All right. So, okay, going back to the word Friday. Okay. You can make this kind of R. Well, for the R, you can also. Um, you could also do this. You could also make the R like this. Okay, like let's write again the word Friday. Alright, and then so this is the X height, but I extend a little bit more. There. Okay, and extend a bit. Okay, there. So it's very important to lift up your pen and extend. Okay, I made the Y differently here than on this one. So it's up to you which R that you would prefer, but you could write differently. Some write the word. Friday, for example, or the R, like this. Okay, so this is just a sample of a regular calligraphy. 
it's actually a little bounce on the on the R here because it doesn't touch the X height. So you could do whichever variations of your letters. And we will be talking more of it on on some of the letters or different styles and different ways to write letters. I am just compiling those letters to do the tutorial. Okay, next one is the word maple here. So this M is a little bit extended and also this one but a little bit shorter I made the vowels shorter the P is not bounce here but the L is bounce you can also make the L a little extend a little more okay next the word like okay so in the word like L is not bounce but the K the rest of the letters are Okay, remember to extend the letter so you can connect it because if you are going to make the E smaller like that, you need a long exit line. Alright, so here I made the S like this, this is regular, extended a little bit down the baseline, made the vowels here smaller. A little extension here on the B and for the R I extended a little bit more down and here also there you go thank you for watching my video I hope you learned something today to bounce your letters in calligraphy and I hope you'll see you next time remember that practice makes perfect perfect makes permanent so keep on practicing keep on writing till next time